Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. As always, I am your host Matt without a video camera today and we're looking at a plugin called Unsplash WP, which is a great way to get your featured images for your blog posts, content, uh, images for content, inline content, placeholder images, anything you want. Uh, almost, literally almost anything you want now. Unsplash has been growing year after year. It's a site that I use on the daily when I'm pulling down uh, images for blog posts and again, content marketing stuff that I do for myself or for clients. It's definitely a great source. Uh, check them out. So that's what Unsplash is. Let's head on to WordPress and I'm gonna type in Unsplash, whoops, if I can type Unsplash WP. And we're gonna use this plugin, Unsplash WP by Darren Cooney. So we're gonna install that. Then we're gonna activate it. It's all you really gotta do. Uh, there is a, so there's two things I wanna point out. Uh, number one, once this activates, what we'll see is uh, nothing. We'll just go right over to, onto the uh, Unsplash WP. We're gonna click on upload photos. And when we do that, it's gonna bring us right over to this Unsplash uh, screen here and you can you can set up some of the plugin setting settings over here uh, the width the height uh, and the number per page that we're pulling in and that's important because what I do day to day when I'm pulling these images into my blog post I'm downloading to my computer first because they're all super high res they're like 4,000 pixels wide and uh, I'm cropping them down I am optimizing the images that kind of thing and it's kind of neat that this plugin will pull them in for you at a preferred size that you uh, indicate. By the way, you can also get to this page by going to media and then unsplash WP. Now, one thing I do want to point out, and we kind of see a hint of it here, and I don't know if this is the reason why, but on the description page of unsplash WP, there's this little call to action here that says uh, that there's a version two of the API. What that means is there's a new way to connect or an up, up and coming way to connect to the unsplash services or servers. Uh, and this developer is looking for some help with that, which might lead me to figure out why that uh, on the recent, when, we're, when we have recent selected, these are not the most recent images that I see when I actually visit unsplash.com. These are the most recent images right now. And I don't know if there's like some kind of timing thing. Perhaps there's a, uh, you know, they, they buffer it maybe by some time uh, just so that there's not a huge load on the servers, whatever. Uh, the idea here is you're able to grab these images anyway. So you can just click on load more images. It'll continue to load these images in. And if I wanted, let's say this one, I would click on it. Give it a second to, uh, to process. And what it's probably doing right now is heading out to the Unsplash services, downloading it, and then resizing it to the 1600 uh, by 900 and I'm now assuming that this photo is in my media gallery and I'm going to check that out I haven't even tested this yet. I'm just going head first <laughs> Into this plugin because I believe it'll do what it says it's going to do I'm going to click on library and When that loads boom there it is. Uh, there's the image I downloaded just now 1600 by 900 it actually gives and this is awesome um, it gives the uh, the title credit to the photographer uh, and that's amazing because Unsplash.com is free, as I mentioned before. Well, the photos are free, accessing the photos are free, but these folks are photographers are putting up some good work. Uh, it's great to attribute that work uh, to them. And actually, it might actually be a sort of requirement in the licensing of these, of these photos. You definitely want to check, uh, check on that before uh, listening to me. Let's go to a blog post and check this out real quick. I'm just going to go to the Hello World po uh, post. And I'm gonna get that out of the way. And we can see here that we have a little Unsplash WP icon uh, now in our post editor. So I can either go to add media and go to my media library. I'll find that Unsplash photo that I just uploaded. And you know, just like every other photo, you can just click on it, insert it, resize it, do all the fun stuff you always do with WordPress. Um, or I can click on the Unsplash WP and again, do the same thing that we did on the other screen, just right in my editor. This saves a boatload of time. <laughs> this saves a boatload of time, especially if you're like me and you do use Unsplash for all of your featured images. Um, you can pull them into your media library uh, and then go ahead and attach that as your featured image. Pretty sweet plugin. Uh, not much else, not much else going on with this thing. You just pull in these Unsplash photos. It's great, you can check it out. Unsplash 
WP. It's been another video from Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. If you do like videos like this, upvote it, share it with friends and family, leave a comment below if you enjoyed what you saw. Thanks, everybody.